The warm belly rub generates so much excitement, enthusiasm, and, and so many questions. How do I apply it? How do I understand it? How do I really capture it? And it's connected back in through the four levels of learning. So the lowest level of learning where almost no learning can occur is unconscious incompetence, where we're kind of stupid, we don't even know it. No learning can occur. The second level is, an, is a conscious incompetence, where we don't know what we're doing, but at least we know we don't know so we can learn. The third level is a conscious competence. This is where we know what we're doing and, we know, and we're doing it proficiently. And the highest level of productivity is an unconscious competence. This is where we're just machines and we don't necessarily even know why we're doing it. So how, how do you identify it? Well, let's take the application to the five areas of business, okay? So area one in business is marketing. So the best marketers, they have this intuition about them. I don't know, this will just work. So we want to say, well, why will it work? We look at if it's the words, it's, the, it's how they phrase it, it's how they put it together. If it's the tonality, we know that only 5% of our communications is actually the words we speak. 95% is the physiology, it's the communication, it's the style, it's the pitch, it's the presentation. That's part of the warm belly rub. It's the energy, it's the soul, it's the vision of what we want to accomplish. Area two is the pre-sale. And so what do we need to do? I mean, when the first person that answers the phone for a new lead coming in, what do they say? You, you probably want to have an amiable or an expressive personality. You see how all of these different personalities or all these different personalities and the, the principles and the natural laws all integrate together? Any one of these natural laws can be life-changing, but when we integrate them together, when we combine them, the combination principle, when we do all of these, then we get 10 times, 100 times, 1,000 times the results. So find the individual that answers the phone the best and then model that. Have other people listen to that. What's their tone? What's their pitch? How do they do it? Consider the personalities of the other individual. What's the energy? It's not just the words, it's the presence. Are they standing up when they talk? Are they using body language? Because that can be projected right over the phone. Are they doing that? In area three, the sale, this is the hardest area for the warm belly rub because salespeople, I don't know, they think quickly, they respond, they go through so much. But it's observing it. It's being able to draw it out. It's helping people to become introspective. So the best of the best, if we want to get better, how do we do that? We have to transfer our knowledge base. It's like we have a cup and, and it's full with knowledge, experience, wisdom, insight. How do we get more? The way we get more is to give that knowledge, wisdom, and insight to somebody else. As we empty the cup, then we can jump to another level of understanding. And so when we share this insight, so one is helping those individuals that have it to be able to understand it and move it from an unconscious competence to a conscious competence and then share it, give it away, share it with other individuals. So one is the sender, the other is the recipient. It's so easy for somebody to say, oh, I know how to answer the phone. Oh, I, I do a great job at this. Oh, I, I know how to sell. I know how to service a customer. I'm great at doing this. A lot of that comes from the arrogance of our own personalities where we think we're good at something and we may be good. But the biggest enemy to greatness is goodness. The biggest enemy to a great successful company is a good successful company. The enemy to the gra a great income is a good income. The en biggest enemy to a great marriage is a good marriage. Being able to go through this and understand this in the warm belly rub is so important. Area four servicing is just filled with warm belly rubs. It's all over the place. It's from the time that we pick up the phone and how do we respond to the individual? How do we greet them? What's the tonality? What are the words? What's the impression? Are we friendly? Do we ask them key questions? What is it that we need to do to create that experience? And then from that point forward, every single contact 
What are the warm belly rubs? It could be little things like remembering individuals' birthdays. It could be looking at, you know, asking them about their kids. It could be looking at were they connected in the community. I mean, think about how powerful the warm belly rub is in not only creating a phenomenal experience, but what if we trained our area for this, those in servicing? What if we trained them to do the warm belly rub and at the same time draw out the connections that they have, the spheres of influence that they had, fed those, take those things, feed those things back into area one, area two, area three. Now we've turned area four through the warm belly rub principle into massive profitability. Area five is, is just ripe, just a wonderful opportunity for the warm belly rub because Area four takes it up to the point to where we said we were going to do something and then we fulfilled it. At that point, there's no more expectation from the client. So their expectations go down to nothing. They have no expectations. This is when we can take it and we can move it way up. Because in looking at area five, in creating a relationship for life, we're able to take the warm belly rub and do some amazing things. An example of this, would be maybe using technology, video, or media. Maybe sharing something about personalities with them. I mean, what would it be like if they had no expectation and once a quarter or a couple times a year they received something from us saying, you know, we really care not just about this product or service, but we really care about you, about your family. And so we wanted to share this with you because we thought it might help you in your relationships, might help you with your children, might help you in your career. What would happen if we did that on a consistent, regular basis for the rest of their life? I mean, how many people would they refer to us? Would we have their loyalty? How strong would those referrals be? I mean, think about the cluster principle. I mean, if we could just get one one strong, solid referral. We could double our business indefinitely. What if we got two and three? What if those two or three referred other people? The warm belly rub, it's a game changer. When we take the warm belly rub, apply it to the other natural laws and principles, we will not only take our businesses to the next level of success, our careers to the next level of success, but we will take every aspect, everything that we value, to a whole new level of success. And that's what it's all about. It's having a passion for making a difference. As we help one another, as we share all of this knowledge and wisdom and insight, you know, it's like having that, 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 that bowl that's full. And how do we take that and empty that to somebody else? Because when we empty it, then we get new insight, new energy, new excitement. As we help other people, that grows our business. As our business grows, their business grows. It creates a win-win for everyone. We hope that's been beneficial for you. Have a great day.